One more, Doc. Well, here's another long one. Apparently, it's afternoon where this gentleman is. He says, good afternoon. I have a question for the doc in regard to eczema stain. Uh, uh, people also know it as, um, uh, what's eczema stain? He says it's suicide uh, inhibitor. Right, right. Uh, it'll come to me in a second. It starts with an A. Um, the way I understand it, eczema stain is a suicide inhibitor, meaning it deactivates the aromatase enzyme. Would this in turn force the body to produce more aromatase enzymes than it would usually have? Interesting question, but uh, it's, and it's good, good, good rationale, I think. But no, we haven't found that in any studies. Uh, if that were the case, then you would have to increase your dose as things went along because your body would be compensating. We haven't seen that. Um, I haven't seen it in clinic nor in any studies. Uh, would using a Remedex to occupy the enzymes to control aromatase be a better option? Uh, the question is, well, let me finish this. The reason I ask is I ended up with a small gyno lump, gynecomastia, under my right nipple that isn't visually noticeable. I want to continue to cycle, but I can feel sensitivity doing even a very low dose testosterone only cycle. I'm looking to control estrogen the best I can and usually do so with one milligram of Arimidex every other day or 25 milligrams of Aromacin is the That's brand right. name most people associate with eczema stain every other day but even with that sensi even with that sensitivity is still there all right so one milligram every other day or okay <clears throat> I have even tried one milligram every day but it left me feeling drained and dried out I even notice sensitivity not on cycle if I drink heavily I believe the doc mentioned alcohol can upregulate the aromatase enzyme in the liver. That is true. I am looking for advice on the best option to control estrogen. Does sensitivity mean I am making the current gyno worse? I do not drink heavily on cycle, but can drinking off cycle while having existing gyno make it worse? Thank you, sir. Ryan. Okay, so backing up to the questions, uh, would using a Remedex to occupy the enzymes to control aromatase be a better option? Not necessarily, and I can't think why it would be. Certainly. In this case, I can't really think of any case where it would necessarily be better. The two tend to work similarly. Uh, and in, in this dose he's saying here, one milligram of anastrolol tends to work about the same as 25 milligrams of eczema stain. When I say work, I mean get to the business of reducing the amount of estrogen floating around the body, reducing the amount of conversion. The mechanism by which it happens, whether it's a suicide inhibitor, meaning it permanently deactivates the aromatase enzyme or only temporarily blocks it long enough it really doesn't matter the effect is the same okay um, so I wouldn't get caught up in that I would use whatever's the cheaper of the two for you and certainly uh, if you notice a difference between the two in terms of you know some drug interaction then obviously you make that decision but you know other all other things held the same either or is fine um, as far as the gynecomastia goes, the breast tissue buildup that, that uh, anyone might experience because of the excess estrogen, I've seen it often enough in clinic where someone complains about gynecomastia, irritation, pain, whatever, sensitivity, and you know we've probably even over-suppressed the, the estrogen. Um, if you've got extant gynecomastia, sometimes even just a little bit of estrogen floating around will irritate it, especially if you're uh, you know, rolling uh, your jujitsu, uh, uh, whatever, uh, you know, you've got a daughter that likes, you know, climbing on daddy, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever it is that might irritate it. Um, you know, once you have the gynecomastia there, it, it's, 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 it can be irritated by just about anything. Uh, one of the things we've uh, found uh, in power pharmacy, and no, I'm not trying to just uh, plug a pharmacy, but as far as I know, right now they're the only pharmacy that, that provides it, but a topical tamoxifen, <clears throat> so that you don't have to ingest it and expose your body systemically, uh, as much anyway, uh, you can just put it topically for those that have already suppressed their estradiol, presumably all the estrogens, down to a level under which you don't want to go, for whatever the reasons, uh, and yet are still experiencing the sensitivity. It's nice nice little trick mm. uh, certainly if you drink yeah that could exacerbate it whether you're on cycle or not uh, on testosterone replacement cycle or not if you're dealing with something that can convert to estrogen then yeah if you drink while well, that's going on whether it's in, again endogenous production of testosterone exogenous production of, or exogenous testosterone or a 
anabolic steroid that can convert, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna hasten that conversion. Uh, typically, when you drink, um, let's see. So the best option is again whatever. Well, we address that. Whatever works best for you in terms of price, as long as all other options or all other considerations are the same. Uh, the sensitivity doesn't necessarily mean the gynecomastia is getting worse. It's just being irritated. Yeah. Um, if it's not noticeable cosmetic, I think I've said this before. If it feels like a pee when you palpate it, it's probably at least a marble. Yep. You know, and if it's a marble when you palpate it, it's probably a golf ball. Once you get in there and cut it open, there's probably a lot of fat around it as well as uh, you know just the uh, 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 breast tissue. Um, I do not drink heavily on cycle, but drinking, but can drinking off cycle make it worse? Absolutely. Again, for the reasons I explained, because you're still activating the or upregulating the aromatase enzyme. I think that sucks that's that question. Yeah. He's really concerned about the drinking. <laughs> I think. Uh, you know, I can't speak. I, I'm, you know, part Basque, part Scotch, Irish. Uh, he drank, Doc? <laughs> Sometimes. I don't drink anymore, but I don't drink any less either. <laughs> All right, thanks, Doc.